and welcome to my channel. My name is Miranda and I am Mrs. Thinking of a Master Plan. And I am here with another Bujo Bullet Journal inspired spread. Before we get started, a few reminders. Number one, happy subscriber appreciation month. If you are one of my new subscribers, oldies but goodies, happy subscriber a month. I appreciate all the support you've given me throughout my tenure here on YouTube. If you enjoy the videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up. That tells me that you liked something about the video. So I really appreciate those thumbs up. It gives me the some gas, it's fuel to keep me going. Make sure you comment below as it is required. If you would like to participate in the drawings, um, you can tell me about your bullet journal experience. Um, do you like it? Something I could have done differently? Anything you wish to comment on? And last but not least, I always extend an invitation to anyone who wants to be a part of Team Bella. How do you become a part of Team Bella? You simply hit that red subscribe button below along with the great notification bell and boom! Just like that, you're in and part of the squad. Alright, so just a reminder, here is how we looked for the month of June and I absolutely love this spread. It's one of my favorites and then of course with the, the pink foiled date dots, loving it. Um, then our first week of June, here was our spread and I practiced doodling banners so kind of got that down and then I'm working on the letter D. And then I'm just using this area here to just write up to the letters that I'm using. So I feel like I'm getting better. And you know what they say, practice makes perfect. Okay, so for this week, I have gone in and I've already drawn out our boxes for our spread. But I'm going to darken these lines up. And I'm going to do so by using my tool fine liners and because I want to stick to this bright summer theme I decided to do them all in different colors so I typically do them in black but for this spread we are going to do them in all different colors so I'll speed this part up um, as it is quite a tedious boring process you will miss absolutely nothing by me speeding this up All right, I think that looks so good. Okay, so now we are going to take my pre-pulled stickers. And I am using stickers from the Pastel Tropics sticker book to pull this together for us. So, um, silver is like one of the accent colors. So we are going to kind of just lay the stickers down.
All right. So I am using this area here as just some positive affirmations. It's cool to be kind. It sure is. All right, I'm gonna take Got the Sunshine on my mind, and this is going down here, right there. Ooh, cute! And I'm gonna take the weekend vibes, and I'm going to kind of put it right in between here because these are kind of the weekend vibes, and I want to take this hashtag happy and lay that right here and then on each of the boxes i want to bring a little touch of our leaves to the process mm -hmm. Totally feeling the whole entire thing. All right, it's simple but chic and I like it. So now, of course, we have to turn on the back of this side and we have to prepare our area for lettering. So I'm going to grab my brush pen. I really want to kind of match what we have going on over here. So we have a hot pink. So we can use a hot pink. We have a green. We have a purple. We have a turquoise. And we have a yellow. So the only thing we're going to do is we're going to flip over here. And we're going to take our brush pen. And we're just going to kind of draw a line straight across. And they may not be perfect, but they're good enough. And I think I had one of my subbies ask, do these pins bleed? And the answer I gave her was no, I did not think that they bled through and they're not. It's a little shadowing, but not bleeding. Because they're just light enough to Oh yeah, this is gorgeous. Okay. Now, the only thing we need is some dates to go here. And I like to grab the dates and holiday book. It is a happy memory keeping and we have some bright color dates in here. So hopefully the dates are all within and they do look like they're all within our color palette. And we want to start with the 10th. Oh yeah, it's fine. So 10. And then, of course, 16. So I'm okay with these bright colors. And then this is a practice down there where I can put everything together. Um, I think for these dates, I'm going to grab the bright sticker book. I'm just gonna grab yellow. I think yellow will be pretty. And we're just going to kind of layer it over 
the silver. So I'm feeling it a lot. So this completes this week's edition of our bullet journal spread for the week of June 10th through the 16th. I am so excited to use it and I feel like it goes very well with the rest of our June theme. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you in the next video. But before we leave, three things. Like, comment, and subscribe. Ciao, Bella.